So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix all the bugs that you are facing with the new performance mode in Fortnite. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get on with the video. So the first bug that a lot of people are facing with the new performance mode is when they try and actually set it in the Fortnite settings and it's just not saving. So it's actually really easy to fix that problem. What you guys are going to want to do is go to your desktop, click Windows and R at the same time time type in percent local app data percent click enter this window should pop up go down to you see fortnite game saved config windows client right click on your game user settings go to properties untick read only apply okay click on the game user settings this notepad file should pop up go to edit find type in user rendering api click enter this should be highlighted yours should be set to one or zero. Zero is dx 11 and one is dx 12 so to set it to the performance mode just change the value to two click the x at the top click save right click on the game user settings once again go to properties read only apply and okay so that should fix the problem that you guys are facing when you try to set the performance mode setting in fortnite but every time you restart your game it just goes back to either dx 11 or 12. so the second problem that you might be facing with the new performance mode is fps drops and with this one you just have to be patient you just have to wait until fortnite releases a new patch for this one because it has to do something with the actual performance mode itself it doesn't have to do anything with your your system so just wait until they release a new update or a new patch that hopefully will fix this problem but until then i suggest capping your frame rate so the third problem that you guys might be facing with the new performance mode is that your builds look like absolute trash now the reason for this is if you have eight gigs of ram or lower then your builds will look like mobile but if you have anything over eight gigs so like 12 16 or 32 then your builds will look like kind of like bubble wrap or like they just look really really blue so the only way to fix this is to upgrade your ram now i personally think that having the mobile builds actually makes your game run slightly better than actually having the blueprint or the blue builds so the only way to fix this problem with your builds looking like trash is to upgrade your ram or just wait until fortnite releases a new update or patch for performance mode like this mode just came out so it's going to be buggy there there's going to be some things that are wrong with it. So just be patient and hopefully they release a patch that fixes all the problems you guys are facing. So next is your textures not loading in properly. I've had this problem even before this whole performance mode came out where my builds weren't loading properly. So what I did was I changed my textures from the lowest setting to medium and medium worked kind of good but then i changed it to high and high was by far the best what i think it's doing is it's putting more load on your gpu because since fortnite is a really cpu intensive game by raising your texture quality it's putting some of that load on the gpu because it's making the gpu work a little bit harder to render in those textures if that makes sense basically what it's doing is it's moving some of the load from the cpu to the gpu since the gpu isn't really being used as much as the cpu when it comes to fortnite so just test out medium or high i don't recommend going to epic and just see which one works better for you it's all about trial and error so just see which one works for you so if that doesn't work then i also suggest capping your frame rate you should always be capping your frame rate when it comes to any video game now capping the frame rate can actually reduce the amount of stress that goes onto your cpu because your cpu isn't working as hard to reach those higher frame rates so if you cap your game at a lower frame rate your cpu won't work as hard to get those higher values so with capping your frames it just makes the game feel a lot more smoother and it's a lot better in general what i suggest doing is capping your fps at the highest and most stable frame rate so the frames that i suggest capping your game at are the default values for fortnite so 60 120 144 160 180 200 and 240 so the last one is your game audio cutting out i've had this problem for a while now where my audio 
video would just randomly cut out at times. Here are some possible fixes for that. So what you guys are going to want to do is go to your settings in Fortnite, go to your audio tab, find sound quality. Now with this one, you guys are going to have to test it out for yourself. Switch between low and high. For me, the high setting works better than the low setting. My game isn't cutting out as much as if I was using the low setting. So one other thing that can actually make your audio cut out is you not capping your frames. So basically capping your frames, like you have to do it. So one, performance mode can work a lot better. And two, so your audio won't cut out as often. The second fix is to turn off visual sound effects. I know there's people that still use this to this day and I don't even know how you do it but <laughs> trust me turning this off will help a lot with your audio not cutting out so the last way that you guys can potentially fix the audio cutting out with the new performance mode is to go to your task manager and change the fortnite priority so go to task manager make sure your fortnite game is open and find the fortnite task in the task manager right click go to details right click and set the priority to high now if setting it to high it doesn't work then try above normal this is also trial and error so try out each priority just to see which one works the best and stick with that so that's going to be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently if any of these bug fixes actually helped you then let me know down in the comments down below but it's been your boy zyre and i'm out peace